I just wanted to address another uh, misunderstanding that uh, Carl Lentz uh, promotes, which is uh, he believes that, the, um, well, he's making a more of a historical argument uh, that the United States was based on the concept of individual self governance, which is uh, that every individual can make his own rules and do whatever he wants. Um, which is not true, which is not true. Um, I, I want to start with uh, a little quote from John Stuart Mill, which uh, was a polit political philosopher around the time of the, um, well, this was after the Constitution was written, but uh, it was, it's very good because it um, sort of embodies what uh, Amer American form of government is about. There we go. All right. Quote, society is not founded on a contract. Everyone who receives the protection of society owes a return for the benefit and the fact of living in society renders it indispensable that each should be bound to observe a certain line of conduct toward the rest. This consists of not injuring the interest of another uh, which, by express little legal provision or tacit understanding, should be considered as rights. And secondly, in each person bearing his share of the labors and sacrifices incurred for defending the society or its members from injury and molestation. These conditions, society is justified in enforcing at all costs to those who endeavor to withhold fulfillment. Now, if we go to uh, State B. 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 Gibson, which is another really good uh, case law, where there is, um, it's a, it's, Gibson is basically a guy in Idaho that trying to argue that he could uh, do whatever he wants, as uh, laws don't apply to him, blah blah blah. And it goes to also the argument uh, Carl makes that there is this legal society. Uh, the Carl's Legal Society argument. Uh, they start by quoting uh, Blackstone's commentary. Every man, when he enters into society, gives a, a part of his natural liberty as price so valuable a boon and obliges himself to conform to those laws which the community has thought proper to establish. Now notice that it does not say legal society because there is no such thing as a legal society. Uh, you got to keep in mind that. Um, well, let's let's look let's look up uh, Lord Blackstone's commentary. This was in 1760. Uh, yeah, you got to keep in mind that um, that Enlightenment uh, philosophy uh, is is talking about. Uh, the difference between being in a society and being in nature without any laws. That that's the society that people that Blackstone is referring to. You're not born into wilderness like Tarzan. You're born into a society with, you know, customs, laws, and all the other all the rest of it. Now when do you enter into society? You enter into society when you live in it. Um, well, let's quote from this. You have no right to unilaterally withdraw from society and reject your obligations to that body while retaining the advantages of that society. Now, applying this to Carl Lentz, for example, Carl can't live in Virginia and enjoy the benefits of living in Virginia, such as roads, uh, defense, uh, infrastructure, you know, all the rest of it, without being, um, without also paying the costs that are associated with living in that uh, society. And there's also this great quote by uh, John Marshall, the best rule for free men is that of obedience to laws enacted by majority of the people. And that's, that's another thing. Uh, 
This is from the Constitution of Virginia. Now, this is uh, the Constitution of Virginia. It was written in. When was it written? I'll look it up later. Well, anyways, uh, in Section 3, it contains a section that uh, goes directly against the whole uh, self government thing. All right, look, quote, whenever any government shall be found inadequate for these purposes, a majority of the community hath an indubitable, inalienable, indefeasible right to reform, alter, or abolish it in such manner most conductive to the public welfare. Now notice that says a majority of the community. It does not say that you as an individual can leave the, the, uh, the government or being, leave, stop being subject to the government just because you don't like what the government is doing. And that is not a, a right that has ever been um, recognized in the history of this country. And, you know, this is, there's this great, this, uh, great uh, article with quotes from Thomas Jefferson that addresses that point. Um, there you go. The term republic is purely and simply government by its citizens and personally according to rules established by the majority. Uh, there's another quote. The first principle of republicanism is that the Lex Majoris, Lex Majoris aka law of the majority is a fundamental law of every society notice again society not legal society every society of individuals of equal rights to consider the will of society announced by quote the majority of a single vote uh, this law once disregarded uh, no other remains but that of force, which ends necessarily in despotism. Uh, that's uh, Jefferson talking in 1817. Uh, what else? It's from 1809. Where the law of the majority ceases to be acknowledged, their government ends. The law of the, stronger, of the strongest takes its place, and life and liberty are his who can take them. Uh, what else? Uh, this is talking about the uh, where, where government gets its authority. Where else will we find the origin of just powers if not in the majority of the society? Will it be in the minority of foreign and... Oh, that's making fun of. You know, uh, it's better than... A, no, let's skip that. Though the will of the majority is in all cases to prevail, the minority possesses their equal rights, which equal laws must protect, which is what we have. Uh, 1811. If the measures which has been pursued are approved by the majority, it is the duty of the minority to acquiesce and conform. 1811. I should look that up. Okay, here we go back to the... Uh, Back to the uh, Enlightenment. Uh, this is uh, Thomas Jefferson quoting from Montesquieu, another philosopher. Uh, in the state of nature, all men are born equal, but they cannot continue in this equality. Society makes them lose it, and they recover it only by the protection of the laws. Notice again the, the distinction between nature and society. Uh, yeah, um, Society is, uh, you know, having to deal with other people. It's not a magical legal society that is separate. Uh, it, it's, it's society as opposed to nature. Uh, what else? So let's end with this argument. Um, if the uh, if truly the United States was set up as an anarchist, uh, voluntarist society where everybody makes their own rules. Then what was the point of uh, you know the founding fathers creating a Congress, creating a president, 
but in Washington run for office. Why were why why did we set up a system of elections? You know why did uh, why did Virginia create a government uh, with a governor and a legislative and um, uh, executive and judicial branches? You know it, the government is set up for the common benefit, protection, and the security of the people. 